Hey ladies. You need a man? No. Oh shit. Here we go again. Do we need men? No. Women need men in this world. Do we need men? Yeah, I don't know how to no. do that. Why? Probably. Because we can be strong independent women. There's this clip going viral online of a dozen women being asked the following question. Do we need men? <laughs> Most answered very quickly, no. <laughs> and only one said she thought women needed a man in their lives. Only one. So why do you think that is? Because men are useless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, love it. And by the way, I want I to differentiate between straight men and gay men, because I think I, I would die without gay men. More. I have Handy Manny at home. <laughs> no. he, is, he fixes everything. When things go bump in the night, he's the one that goes downstairs. If you need the Handy Man, maybe he needs a woman in the kitchen. <laughs> when there's a bug to be exterminated, he does the extermination. Nope. When there is something to be fixed, he fixes it, he throws out the trash, and he Still throws no. out the recyclables. <laughs> I enjoy all the man stuff. So he my, does like that, my wait a second. Second. Just, I know what you're going to say. Wait. She's really talking about a servant. Let's face it. No. It's a handyman well, well, she's talking no, about. No, it's a handy manny. Oh, it's a handy man with benefits. We do not have I need my man three to four times a week. And oh, <laughs> good for you guys. I agree with that, but if I say the same thing, I'm a bigot. At least speaking, I feel like men have proven largely useless. That is called double standard. If one eye is allowed to exist, I'm allowed to fake it, right? Um, this is a queer fat club. Um, I'm, I'm queer and fat. Okay, thank you for joining. We're just um, introducing ourselves at the moment. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, Joe? Yeah, uh, my name is Joe. I go by he, they, and uh, I identify as 275 pounds. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like Jay is kind of making fun of me, though. I know it's kind of a shock. I know, kind of a new thing. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm okay. Do what? I said I apologize. Oh, no, you're good. Um, are you comfortable leaving the group at the moment? Why? Why? I'm, I'm not understanding why you're joining the group. This is the queer and fat group now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I came here for. Okay. Um, and you said you identify as fat? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is just for fat-bodied people. Yeah, I understand. I, I identify as a fat-bodied person. I'm not understanding where you're coming from. Are you guys comfortable with me here? I mean, I'm pretty chill on my end. I'm not comfortable, no. Ladies and gentlemen, it's their own rule. And by their own rule, they're fat-phobic. You guys, I was literally just walking, and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. And I now have to be careful because it has been proven that some of the ladies literally fake this. Because for the cloud, hey, that's how you get attention because most ladies think men are bad. Don't find that suspicious. In the last month, multiple young women here in New York City have described being hit in the head in the middle of the day just walking down the street some falling and even suffering from concussions what do we know about the person that was arrested well he is a repeat offender according to the police he has an extensive criminal record he's been arrested three times in the last six months Jeez. for similar crimes it is he is what the police call a recidivist and i've had conversations not just about this spate of crimes but also about what's going on on the subway and it's mm -hmm. one of the largest concerns right now in the nypd they are arresting the same people for the same crimes over oh, and they're getting and out of jail over, yeah. and it's happening again. The side op has been done to so many women, they already know who to blame. Men. So the women getting punched in the face in New York, I mean, like, it's, it's incels, right? <laughs> because from what I've seen, it's all women that were like on their phones and by themselves, right? So they're planning out and looking for a specific type of person to attack. Men are punching women in the face in New York for being on their phones. Happened four times today. Hallie has a welt on her head this big. Nobody did anything about it. Nobody saw that and, and did something. And it made me think of how there used to be, you know, those vigilantes in red hats who would hang out, like, I think near subway stations a lot of the time and try to make sure that shit didn't happen because obviously police weren't going to do anything because police for some reason don't seem to care about that kind of thing that would actually be helpful to the safety of women or people specifically in my city all i see police here do is six of them stand around one homeless person who's passed out on the ground and talk where they ride horses they ride horses all around the city the horses shit in the bike lanes and their shit is bigger than my dog, but if my dog were to shit and I weren't to pick it up, it would be a $1,500 fine. And then they ride bikes through the park. That's what the police do here. Um, 
vigilantes who, who are, like, for the protection of people or something. Because, you know, men don't want to do it. They're like, it's 2024 and you guys can't do it yourself. We're going to punch you in the face for being on your phone. What the f- what? No, no, no. Oh, rough on him now. No, he needs to know. Okay. He's always crying. Right, tough love it is. Tough love. Wake up, idiot. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have progressed so much, we are regressing. Why do you think man is going to help you and why do you think cops are going to help you? The moment they try to do their job or just try to be a good Samaritan or vigilante, you arrest them. Let him come. Because the moment I run after a thief and the thief trips and falls and hits his head, it's actually my fault and I will be sent to prison. Hey, you'll learn one day when you grow up. And the people that pass these laws, decoy voice, tell them. As the Women's Caucus NYC complains about the attacks, to which the majority leader of the city council replied, where are the men calling this out? To which she got slammed with the obvious answer as to why men can't protect you in New York City, as scenes like these are constantly coming out of NYC's subway system. What? What? Bad news. Oh no. Anyway. Hey, poor man's podcast, inform the people about the attacker. The guy who was arrested seen on CCTV punching one of the women is a 40-year-old man named Skabuki. He believes he's the great-great-grandson of Marcus Garvey, and over the last three years, he's ran for governor, mayor, and city council of New York. White man, despise me, Mark. More than my great-great-grandfather, Mark. Marcus Garvey, Mark. Now look at this, Mark. See this, Mark? This is a decision, Mark, from September 22nd, Mark. Okay, from the uh, Court of Appeals, Mark. This is what gave me jurisdiction, Mark, to go to the, the highest court in America, Mark. The Supreme Court, Mark, of the United States, Mark. Look at this, Mark. I found my injunction, Mark. Sound by the officers, Mark. Look, 26, Mark. A September, Mark. Look at this, Mark. I don't make this shit up on the white man, Mark. Look at this, Mark. Or my other motion, look. Sound by the, look, Mark. They refuse at the Board of Elections. They, they refuse at the United States of Supreme Court, Mark, to return my phone call, to pick up the phone, at the clerk office, Mark. You understand, Mark? These people is racist, Mark. They refuse to file my document, Mark, due to the color of my skin, Mark. In the Supreme Court, Mark, these people is high-ranking white supremacists, Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy has a social media account harassing women. No wonder if you allow all that stuff, one day he's gonna be like, hey, I can punch you too. Slow down. Slow down. What you in the rush for? What you in the rush for? Pay attention so you won't walk into people. Can you stop? Just slow down. I'm going You somewhere. almost walked through me. Yeah. All right. Put the phone down so you can pay attention and not walk into nobody. Where you got all that swag from? Excuse me? I'm Skabuki, Marcus Garvey grandson. I was curious to know where you got all that swag from. You know that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, keep it going. I know that's right. And he ain't just harassing white women. Hey. Hey, I'm Marcus Garvey Grandson. Skabuki. I'm Marcus Garvey Grandson. I'm Skabuki. I'm I, Kirsten. I don't know. I don't know him. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> I was curious. Why y'all dress like that? Why? It just look oh, hoish like. Sluttish like. But if it makes sense to the black woman, good luck. I hope y'all get married. Okay? Later. Hey, baby girl. I want to tell you, never trust a girl with a do-rag on. I love you. Hell no, look at it. Look at her hair. Look at it. This is the only type of white black people that the white people them like to hang with. It's black girls that don't do their hair. That's the only way that these white people speak to them. That's the only way they deal with them when they don't do their hair. I'm running for governor. I'm Skaboki. Marcus Garvey, great great grandson. I'm not putting up with this. These black girls gonna do their hair under Governor Skaboki. You look tired, girl. Like light skin like that. Damn. What? What you said? He doesn't do that with other men. Yo, Jim Jones. I know I was gonna run into you. It's me, Skabuka. Let's take a video. Bro, you better ask me to take a video. Come on, baby. Oh, all right. God bless you, though. No, no, but I'm running for governor. I, I was giving you some love, black man. All right. I seen you gave some free haircuts the other day about. Do you think? I know. Keep it up. Good luck. The New York Police Department says Stoddard was arrested on Wednesday and charged with assaults, making it his third arrest in the past six months. I feel safe right now. I went all the way on the other side. Democrat. He followed me and started recording me. Democrat. I pushed the camera out my face, and that's when he started hitting me. <laughs> you crazy. And he hit multiple times. Yeah, okay.
Democrat voter. Yeah, hold on, man. She's a Democrat voter. Pichardo says he didn't say a word. It at her. Then broke her jaw. He hit me very, very strong over here. And he break everything here. Everything's break. It happened yesterday around 5 p.m. on Grand Avenue near Dean Street. Pichardo was a school bus aide and was returning from work, just steps away from home when she was slugged. Her brother owns a restaurant across the street from where she lives. He and this employee chased the suspect down. Johan Flores says he was still standing there. When they confronted him, he denied attacking Pichardo. Cold and emotionless. They followed him for several blocks and stopped him from fleeing until police arrived. Cops arrested 33-year-old Franz Judy. The suspect was charged with misdemeanor assault, meaning he's not bail eligible. He'll be released back onto the street. Amazing. Get ready, people. How can somebody do something so bad and you're like, well, release him. And it keeps happening over and over to women. What more are girls going to have to go through in order for it to be legal for us to carry something? Anything, like even pepper spray is illegal in New York. What you guys need to do is stop begging for your rights, get the hell off of your knees, and start voting like a big girl. For the past couple of days, all I've been seeing on my timeline is girls from New York who are complaining and crying about how they're just getting punched in the face randomly by random men on the street. Bam! They're just walking down, minding their business. Maybe they're on their phone, and they're just getting punched in the face, just randomly. Now, you're not going to like this answer because I'm pretty sure your state has brainwashed itself into conning you guys into thinking if you vote for anyone else except the blue party then you're somehow racist but it's seriously time for you to wake up and realize that this party get, doesn't give a damn about you with your help they have effectively removed all lines of defense that you can have on the streets when the republican party was talking about how they need to you guys need to fight for your gun rights because gun rights are women's rights you guys were complaining, oh my gosh, no, guns are scary, school shooting, mass shooting, we need to get rid of guns. And I remember people asking the question, well, how are you going to defend yourself from the criminals that are raging through your streets right now? Your answer was to say, um, hello, we have the police, but also we're going to defund the police. Like, are y'all okay? Because it's giving remedial. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. And I wish for likes and comments, so surprise me with a few, please. Don't get me wrong, my cosa quita bon. Put a fire na mi plon, kush hash purple skunk, criollo, colombici, jam jam, turlo, keta verdeta, welcome.